I like how, I love how it humors me, but I love how everyone now wants to act like they don't know how the world got like it is, right? Yeah, people trying to be like other people, like how you're trying to be like Derek Jackson. But don't worry, I'm about to cook you. I'm, I'm sick of people like you. I'm just, I'm tired of it. Everyone is so shocked by how the youth acts, right? Modern woman this. Nobody's shocked. They think it's stupid. Modern man this. Everybody has their noses in the air. But that was 19... I posted a video from 1947, and the woman was talking about modern men. I don't... Just shut up. 1998. The people that were there were born in the 70s, some in the 60s. The people that are moving around now that we seem to throw shade at, we don't understand how they got like that. Those are the children of the people that were at Freaknik in 1998. Duh, we know that. And they're still, they raised their kids with the same irresponsible ways. Clearly, to have fun and be your kids' fun. And now those people are online saying their age and their kids' age dancing. So shut up. Y'all got some nerve. You talk about the modern woman. You it's the women that was at Freaknik. Talk about the dating and you don't, you don't understand it. What do you mean? I understand it. Y'all stupid. If you was really concerned with how the world was going to be now, your ass wouldn't have been at Freaknik. If They're not concerned. They're still trying to have fun. They're 50 and still saying, oh, I'm about to get a man and he's got to make 100K and take care of me. You talking to the women. You know that, right? Because men ain't listening to your dumb ass. But they're going to listen to me talk to you. If you was really concerned with what, what the modern people were going to do, you would have been preparing the way in the 80s and the 90s. Now, kind of like how Shira Had Ali was doing and women wasn't listening to her. All right. Now, when you see these young people on TikTok, you can't say anything. These are your kids. They don't care. They're dancing with them. Why won't you talk to them instead of trying to pander? Derek Jr., you got some nerve, right? And if we roll back the tapes and look at what you were doing in the 80s and in the 90s, why are you surprised that your sons and daughters and some of you, your grandchildren, are moving the way that they're moving? You paved the way for this. People don't care. They hear the statistics and act like, oh, not my child. But they see it. Talk to the women that's doing it. You paved the way for the modern dating market, right? You paved the way for the women not to be submissive, right? You paved the way. We did. We paved the way for that, huh? For the boys to be baby daddies. They was being submissive at Freaknik. Because you know what you were doing in the 90s? You were at Freaknik. And instead of keeping it a buck to these young people... You got the nerve to be judgmental about their behavior. You got some nerve. You've got some nerve. Not addressing it like it's a problem. And I'm sure if we keep digging and we keep digging, there's a video of you standing on somebody's sofa with a bottle in your hand, right? Singing Uncle Luke songs. Y'all need to stop. If we keep digging we just and we it. keep digging and we keep digging, it's going to be videos of you pandering, and I'm going to react to them until you shut your ass up. That's what's going to happen.